issue for midterm voters. Let's bring in Jillian Snyder, police uh, policy director for criminal justice and civil liberties at the R Street Institute. Nice to see you this morning, Jillian. Why have some of the largest police departments failed to, to turn in this data to the FBI? Well, good morning. Thank you for having me. Um, the NIBRS, or the National Incident-Based Reporting System, it's very different from the traditional reporting methods we used to use in policing. So we used to just track eight major index crimes, and now we're tracking over 50 different types of offenses. So we don't have the full picture. It's kind of a, it's kind of a shame when this is such an important issue to so many Americans that, that we don't have the full, um, the full picture here. And I wonder if part of it, too, is that, you know, crime is kind of local, right? I mean, this is, it's, it's different all over the country. Yes. I mean, this is a really good tool to use when it's used properly, when we have more agencies reporting. I mean, we have under, what, 65 percent total compliance. And that really is not representative of the nation at large, because some of the agencies that report it might only really represent a small population within that state. So, for example, in New York, we only saw, I think, 25 percent of the agencies in the state and 44 percent of the state's population lives in the five boroughs and the NYPD did not report. So really looking at it that way, it this report will one day be very valuable when we have more compliance. But for now, we should just take it, um, use it for historical trends and tracking purposes, but really not rely on this um, to implement new policy. So a lot of experts say that the data. So is it at most it's un, it's uncertain. So how dangerous is that? I mean, because you do have uh, governments and, and, and police departments that have to make their policies. They do. And I mean, again, they can't just look at this. This can't be the only tool that we use, because as you said a few minutes ago, crime is local. Um, it's very different jurisdiction to jurisdiction. I like to look at New York City Police Department, for example. If you look at what the FBI put out yesterday, we have a pretty consistent trend um, about 1% up or down on overall violent crime. They're reporting that robberies decreased over 8%, whereas homicides increased over 4%. If you look at the NYPD today, we're seeing a 36% increase in robberies. That is so different from what the FBI is reporting on a national level. So whenever we're looking at changing any types of policy or implementing different types of police programming, we really have to look at the jurisdiction at hand because we can't think okay. every agency is doing the same. Yeah, it's a shame that you can't get a, kind of a better picture when, you know, this is something that obviously the polls show people are very anxious about crime in America. Jillian Snyder of the R Street Institute, thank you so much. Nice to see you this morning.